Meanwhile, today, senators on Capitol Hill elected who they want to lead in the next congressional session. Democrats tapped New York Senator Chuck Schumer. Republicans gave Kentucky Senator Mitch McConnell another shot. WYMT Washington correspondent Kelly Meyer has the details. Chuck Schumer and Mitch McConnell were selected in two separate closed door meetings here on Capitol Hill immediately after the Senate's most powerful Democrat took to the microphone. I am humbled. With a vote from his colleague, Schumer takes on the role of Senate Minority Leader. New York senior senator is set to fill the shoes of outgoing Nevada Senator Harry Reid. While Schumer had his eyes on the majority leader position, it stays in the hands of Kentucky Senator Mitch McConnell after big GOP wins on election night. A cheerful McConnell pleased to continue his run as the highest ranking Senate Republican and work with President-elect Donald Trump. Time to accept the results of the election uh, to lower the tone and to uh, see what we can do together uh, to make progress for the country. Republican Senators John Cornyn of Texas and John Barrasso of Wyoming all reprising roles on the GOP leadership team. Democrats choosing an expanded 10-member team made up of Virginia's Mark Warner, Michigan's Debbie Stabenow and former Democratic presidential candidate Bernie Sanders. Even with his new team in place, Senator Schumer still faces an uphill battle here on Capitol Hill, taking on a Republican House, Senate and White House. He promises to work closely with his colleagues on the other side of the aisle and the president-elect, but he says he won't hesitate to fight back. Reporting in Washington, I'm Kelly Meyer.